What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're back on the E36 and we're basically doing the whole, the car is moving because Jack is trying to put it on an actor stand, but the Jack I've got is being a bit screwy with. Um, so basically we're doing the whole front arms assembly. We're changing it all out. Max Peter Rods sent us the full replacement kit. So mine are pretty knackered and I don't know how long they've been on the car, probably forever. I've been in for enough beating in its life. So we're gonna swap it all out for some brand new stuff. So it will look really good. It should feel a lot better and it's just gonna be better all around. So first things first, what we'll do is put the car in the air, get the wheels off and we'll see what we're working with. So we put on axle stands. So I'll pick the camera back up once the axle stands and you see what we're doing. So I've not been filming, but my idea was to do one side first, then go to the other and film the other side whilst I'm all clued up and know what's going on. So Jack's pretty much been getting this sorted while I've been messing around trying to sort the exhaust, which turns out I've got, for some reason on the stock exhaust, one of the pipes, even though where they come from is the same diameter, one goes into a three inch and one's a two, it's either a two five or two seven five in the measure it because the exhaust clamps aren't fitting. But we've got the arms, everything off. You can see it's fully disassembled, fill out steel wreck. It was definitely ideal that we removed these because these screwed up by hand and then the thread off of this was already fucked when it goes through to the hub. So they definitely need the changing. So it's ideal we got that. Obviously the suspension still doesn't look the best. Um, it's gonna be decent suspension, it's just quite old. But we took the like pads and discs, well not pads off obviously, we take discs off and caliper off. So it probably should have just We've done new discs and pads whilst I was at it, but we didn't think we'd really need to take them off. We just had to, it was just easier to do it that way. But we're now going to assemble the new ones. So I'll show you the new ones going on. And then the other side, show you like the full works of taking it apart and putting it back on. But yeah, we'll put the new stuff on now. I'll show it on the floor compared to the old stuff. So you can see how nice and new everything looks and all the bushings are new and it's just good. It's just good stuff good replacements and my alignment's out anyway one of my wheels sits more to the left than the other side so i needed to get this all out and adjust it a bit anyway so whilst i'm here it just makes everything a lot easier so here obviously we've got the new arms compared to the old arms and same as the tire ends whatever you want to call them they're looking a lot nicer they all came with these caps i took them off but they also come with actual nylock nuts in them as well so you can change your hardware over as well whilst you're doing so they also come with drop links but as i have no front anti-roll bar i have no drop links and my coil overs don't have the attachment for the drop links so i don't need them because the drift car don't want that on the front anyway and they also came with the new bushing for the lollipop which i didn't realize until i just took them out the box so you'd need to get that pressed into the lollipop. So I'm not getting that done. I'm just gonna reuse the ones I already have, but I can use that as a later date, take them off, get them pressed in, all good. But I don't have the tools or the muscle to do it here. But nevertheless, we have brand new. It's gonna look so nice in the front end. Hey, so first thing first, I'm gonna put this in here. Um, I'm gonna keep this all loose because my tracking is, my tracking alignment is dreadful at the moment. So we're gonna sort that all out last, but first things first, we're just gonna thread this in here. Uh, reuse the stock washer. And then we'll be making progress. Okay, so we've actually put this bit here up through the actual, like the brace that holds the engine and everything up in place. And we use loads of long ass extensions to get down onto the top. You could probably hook your arm over the top, but just easier for us to go down. Um, so that's now actually in place. And then we just put in by hand the bolts that go through the lollipop bushes here. Like I said, it did actually come with ones, but um, you need to get them pressed in and we don't have that. So for now, we're just gonna reuse the stock ones, but we can add them at a later date or whatever. So at least this all looks nice and new and good, but um, I'll send these ones in now and then we can get more into like putting the hub back on and everything like that. So now I'm just gonna put the hub and the assembly back onto here. And then we've got the nice new hardware just to tighten up. Ooh. 
Also, make sure you're wearing appropriate footwear for doing such jobs. Like my wild crock. <laughs> if anything falls, my toes are great. So we're now fully attached to the hub and the coil have is all back on and assembled. So now, we can line this up, it's gonna be way out, but oh well. So good. There we go. Look at that for alignment. Now we've got to mess around getting this straight. But we're in. We're assembled. More than basically there now. So we have to use the light for a bit of assistance, but as you can see, we've got the four new arms there from on this end, got tarot ends, lovely jubbly. So they're now fully on, which is great. They look a lot better. The, this side getting off was a nightmare. Let's go get a ball joint splitter because they was not coming out and I was just having problems. But we finally did it. So I did some snippets of stuff happening, but it's quite hard to film because you're, you're in the arch and the camera won't get in the arch with me and the lighting's not great underneath the car. But they're on now, me and Jack got it done. So now what we're gonna do is put some power steering fluid in it because it literally has none and try and sort the alignment out a bit because they're proper on the wake. So we're gonna fit the wheels on as well so we can see the problem and adjust it whilst everything's easily accessible. So yeah, it looks good basically. So. So essentially what we need to do now is sort out the alignment. So this side's not too bad, the other side's a lot worse. So as you can see here, you can see where you adjust from. So these are basically the lock colours. And, and then we've got a 13 mil spanner and we can adjust and we tighten or loosen, we'll adjust whether it goes out or in. So this is basically what happens when you go get an alignment at a tire shop, but they have actual like a proper laser electric setup so they know where it's going to. But we're just doing it by eye just so we can get it to one on the road. It's not gonna be as bad as just leaving it. And now we are looking a lot more straighter. I mean, it's straight enough, I think. And we've locked them all in place as well, 20 single spanner, which I literally just bought today because to get onto this nut down here was horrible because the engine mount was like stuck on it. But it got done and they're all on now, they're all ready to go. I'm not gonna do power steam fluid today just because my battery's dead because I had to replace my alternator, which was dead. So to get it in, I've got to jump start it and it's quite, l it's not late, but um, this car has no exhaust. So when it starts, it starts fucking loud. Um, so I'll probably do that at a later date, but you get the point. It's now aligned, it looks a lot better. And we have the full steering kit now on. So if you want to grab one, make sure you check out Max Speed Mods. I'm out of breath because I was just hanging off the end of a spanner. But yeah, it's done. I'm happy. It looks 10 times better than the stock. The stock can go in the bin because it looks crap compared to it. And yeah, more E36 mods have been completed, which is good news all around.